Today, I'm going to give you an overview on how to start Mirtron's N2KView Vessel Monitoring and Control Software and how to navigate to the different screens of data being monitored. N2KView gives you a comprehensive display of all the information you need to ensure the correct operation of your vessel, including engines, generators, tanks, navigation instruments, local weather, video, switches, and much, much more. In addition, the Alerts module will monitor these values and alert you if they go out of range so that you can be forewarned of potential problems. When N2KView is first started, you are asked to choose between entering demo mode and accepting that N2KView is only an aid to navigation and vessel monitoring and not a replacement for traditional aids and techniques. We are going to assume that N2KView has already been connected and configured. Press the Accept button to connect N2KView to all the enemy A2000 sensors on the vessel. You will immediately see gauges and data from the sensors on your vessel. Don't worry if your screen doesn't look exactly like this. Each vessel will have screens that are customized to show the data that you need. If you do not see the needles moving, then your configuration of N2KView has not been completed. Talk with your installer to get this corrected. We call these screens your favorite screens. You can have as many favorite screens as you need, and each one can be customized with the gauges that you want and a size that suits you. You can also choose your own names. This screen is an example of how you might want to monitor twin engines. Touch anywhere on the screen. From the top of the screen, a number of tabs slid down into view. Each of these tabs represents one of your favorite screens. Tap again below the tabs and they will retract, leaving the screen clean so that you can focus on the important data that you want to see. Tap again towards the bottom of the screen to bring the tabs back into view. This time, we will see that if you do not tap again, that the tabs will retract by themselves after 5 seconds. If you want to keep them visible for longer than that, tap near the top of the screen and they will stay in place for as long as you choose. You already know how to make them slide out of view, just tap on the main screen. If you want to go to a particular screen, click to bring the tabs into view, and then press on the tab with the name of the favorite screen that you want to view. For example, to go to the navigation screen, click to bring down the tabs and press the navigation tab. To go to the DC Systems favorite screen, bring down the tabs and press the DC Systems tab. Or to see the Environment favorite screen, choose the Environment tab. While the configuration of N2KView is outside the scope of this overview of the presentation, there are a couple of features in the Commands and Settings tab that may come in useful. To display the Commands and Settings tab, click anywhere on the screen as you did to show the Favorite Screens tabs. There is one tab on the right called Commands and Settings. Press on that tab. This shows the buttons that are used to manage N2KView. We will look at just a few of these buttons. Pressing the About tab shows important information about N2KView, like the version number in which licenses you have bought and have currently active. Press OK to get back to the main program. To change the colors on the screen so that it could be used on a dim bridge at night, we can press the Night Mode button. As you can see, a red filter is placed over all the controls. To go back to the normal Day Mode, bring up the Commands and Settings dialog again and press the Day Mode button. Another useful feature is the Clean Screen function. If you want to clean a touch screen, you have to touch it to clean it. If you happen to touch a switch while cleaning it, you could do something inadvertently to the vessel. Pressing the Clean Screen button will give you 20 seconds of safety. You first get some instructions on what will happen, and when you press Clean Screen, you get a countdown of the time you have left. During this time, all user input from the mouse, keyboard, and touchscreen is disabled. N2KView continues to operate in the background, and alerts continue to be monitored. When the count reaches the end, it returns to the normal operating mode. The last button is the Shutdown button. Pressing this button will bring up a small dialog confirming that you really want to stop using N2KView 
and if you press yes, the program will exit. If you are running N2K View on an MBB100, DSM800, TSM800, or TSM1330, then the unit will also be powered off. Thanks for watching this video. Please visit our website at www.miratron.com to learn more.